Hello everyone, this is Greg and welcome back to another awesome build tutorial. On this episode, we're going to create a unique modern house. This modern house features a balcony pool that wraps around the sides, where there is also two spacious outdoor decks, which is great for lounging on. This house features an overhanging porch, a kitchen, a bathroom, full-size basement, a large master bedroom, which has plenty of dressers and drawers. This build is broken down into 21 easy to follow steps. And without further ado, let's get to building. Step 1. Using light gray concrete blocks, lay out the foundation 16 blocks long. Then make an 8 block wide horizontal line. Then make another 16 block long line. Then make a 5 block wide extension. And repeat this 3 more times. Then fill in between the first set here. Step 2. Next add 3 blocks of light gray concrete to the foundation, so it is a total of 4 blocks high. Step 3. Next connect the beams with cross beams. Then add in additional cross beams. Then we can start in the second floor pool foundation and the pillars that support the foundation in the back. Extend these blocks out 10 blocks. Then repeat for the other side. Now connect the beams. Step 4. Next we can make the front porch structure by adding to the existing pillars and creating the roof frame. Step 5. And then from the top of the front porch frame we just created, build an additional 3 block tall pillar, then construct a rectangle. Make sure the rectangle lines up with the structure below. Step 6. 
Next, let's excavate the center two blocks deep. Step 7. Now let's replace the dirt floor with dark oak blocks, and then replace the walls with light gray concrete. Step 8. Now let's install the first hardwood floor with oak wood blocks. Make a 2x2 two two area in the back left corner. Then start a new row and wrap around. Leave a 4x2 opening for the stairwell. Then we can fill in the rest of the floor. Step 9. Now let's move on up and install the oak wood floors on the second level. First, let's make a stairway. Start the steps by the concrete pillar. Now using oak half slabs, fill in the rest of the floor. Then once here, place the oak slabs up a half a block to leave headroom for the stairway underneath. Also place full size blocks out here as they will act as a platform for our balcony pool. Step 10. Next we can install the bottom of the pool. Use white stained glass blocks and place the blocks so the pool is one block deep. Step 11. Next, construct two quart structural supports that look like the letter H. Connect the two rectangles and add a quartz block cross beam. Do the same for the other side. Step 12. Now we can make the first roof section. Start by using dark oak blocks and make a rectangle on top of the structure we just created. Then make two quartz slab borders around the dark oak blocks. Step 13. Now let's make the second part of the roof. We're going to use dark oak blocks and quartz slabs to make this lower roof section. First, using dark oak blocks, make an inside lining around the concrete room structure.
Then let's use quartz slabs and make a two wide path. Leave an opening here. Let's make this path too wide on the other side. Now place six oak blocks here. And trim up the top with quartz slabs. Step 14. Now I can make the back patio. First place stone stairs. Then we can make a border of stone bricks. Now we can excavate the remaining dirt and fill with dark oak blocks. Step 15. Now let's lay down the remaining first floor and outdoor front patio floor. Use oak wood blocks to fill the floor. This room will be the kitchen. Then we can do the same for the opposite side. And on this side of the house, it will be the bathroom. Then moving outside, place a stone brick border in a zigzag pattern. Then we can fill the centers with dirt. Next, for the front entranceway, we will use a combination between dark oak stairs and slabs. Step 16. Now we can construct the first floor walls. Fill in between the concrete pillars with quartz blocks, black stained glass panels, and oak doors. Step 17. Now we can construct the walls on the second floor. The second floor walls are built with the same type of materials as the first floor.
Step 18. Now let's fill in the room and add in sea lanterns. Use dark oak slabs and sea lanterns. These sea lanterns will provide ample lighting to the room, making it nice and bright. Step 19. Next is the third floor walls, windows, and flooring. The window layout is very similar to the floors below. I'm going to leave these windows nice and big. However, you can lay out your windows however you like. Step 20. Next is the landscaping, and we can fill in the balcony pool with water. First, let's make the front bushes. I'm going to use jungle leaves and place the back corner blocks three blocks tall, then in front of it, two, then one for the front row. Then for the walkway, I'm going to use a two to one block pattern. Every other block will be two, then one, then two then one. Then I'll add a few bushes around the sides and back. Step 21. Lastly is the interior, and I'll leave this completely up to you. However, I'll quickly show you how I did my interior. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about the build or would like to leave some feedback, I would love to hear it. Also, make sure to subscribe because I create building tutorials just like this one every week. I'll catch you in the next one. Later, guys. Previously on Greg Builds, we built a stunning modern house which features a walk-in breezeway that opens up to a kitchen. Modern House 2 also has spacious floors above ground and a cozy basement which has built-in extra storage under the stairway, as well as a large fireplace to keep the house warm during cold weather. And on top of that, Modern House number 2 has a back deck, which is great for relaxing on, and equipped with outdoor lighting. Make sure to check this build out. Later guys!